today we're going to be continuing with GTA 3, par 3, and we're going to be doing the mission, The Wife. The business is going to go under unless I get a hold of some serious cash soon. My wife has an insurance policy, and all she's ever been to me is a hole in my pocket. I left the car in the usual place. Go and pick up my wife from Classic Nails and bring her back to the factory. So we'll have to go and kill his wife now, like... As if we haven't killed everyone else in his life. That kind of round, but that isn't what's important. What's important is I'm working for a psychopath, and for some reason I, I'm, I'm kind of a sociopath, and I have no remorse for these people. Oh shit. <laughs> what is it with me trashing up this, guy, this guy's car? Alright, let's go and pick her up. I'm hot and you're not. Espranto. It's mad how the, all the cars have changed in uh, the GTA world. Like that Espranto, Espranto is basically Roman, it, it actually is Roman's taxi in GTA 4. Like you can see how much the difference they look. So here she is, classic nails. Come on bitch! Why didn't you just go and get hit? But I don't want to know. I'm gonna I'm gonna to delve too in too into this. So let's just go get her killed. I don't really care about her. Oh yeah, man! For fuck's sake! Only I I, I hate these cars. <laughs> they're just they're just got a weird shape. Right. Right here. There's my truck. <laughs> There's just too many of them trucks around. Yeah, see, I've got another one in here. Come on, gate. I wonder what, I wonder what he's gonna do in here. I wonder what it's gonna sound like. The other two uh, occurrences have been kind of weird, so... Damn, these cutscenes take so long. Yep, here we go, here we go! What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? She was like, Danny, stop! Right, let's go throw this car into the sea. Shit, it's only around the corner, so I think we'll be alright. So we, you kind of jump out of the car on this game, so I'm probably going to have to chuck it overboard. Make sure I don't go in. Whoa! 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 <laughs> How close I was! Two grand for that. Fucking hell. Easy money! Right. He's got another mission, so. I heard you. <laughs> oh, I don't want another truck. Give us this taxi. Normally, this guy. Get that to my car! That's all you always say, is that. I'm sorry, he's not actually saying it anymore. Get that the fuck up! Oh! Here we are. Last mission for Marty Chunks. And we'll get back on to those Joey missions. Her lover. Damn, I'm in trouble. Turns out my wife was seeing some guy I owe money to. He's got real angry, and he's looking for payback. I've agreed to see him. He thinks I'm gonna pay him off. But my guess is Liberty's dogs are gonna get yet another flavor this month. Right, now we need to go and kill his lone shark slash fucking... I don't know, his wife's lover. Right. Ooh, it's a stallion this time. I have to go and steal this car. Like like I said, when I first started this game, I'm going to actually get a stallion. But I kind of like the Diablo stallions. Right, where is he? I, I think he... It said he was in the red light district. So he might be near Luigi's Club. Oh no, I think he's next to the Metro actually. I kind of see on the radar. Actually, it's a bit weird. Isn't this where the the thieves were? I think this is where the thieves were. Maybe they're working for him. Whoa! Plot twist. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? What's this guy planning? <laughs> He's got something intended. 
Uh, I, I will be on his side calling him a creep like, but it doesn't mean we'll have to kill him. The, uh, the wife, the two thieves, and the banker might actually still be in the factory, like tied up or something. You never know, you never know. <laughs> but that factory is just empty inside because obviously we're not allowed in, so. There he is, eh? There's Mr. Chogs! Marty! Marty! Alex! Marty! Alex! Marty! Carl, uh, hi. Uh, I, uh, I need more time to get your money. But if you just step into my office, it's far too late for that, Marty. You had your chance, but now I'm taking over the business. All right! Whoa! <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck just? What? What just happened? Fuck! He killed. He killed. He killed him. <laughs> fucking! I'm gonna kill him for fucking revenge. Now I'm out of work and I got one shell. Fucking hell! He must have been packing a double sword off or something. Like double barrel sword off. Oh well. That's the end of that. Uh, I guess that we can now own. This factory, this this factory can be ours now. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, that's the end of that. That was quite an interesting ending, if I'm honest. It just shows pl it. The moral of the story: nobody wins. <laughs> All right, let's go and do the Joey's mission. See what he's got going on. Van heist. Ooh. Edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk ass security guard should bail. Then take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. So, right, we're gonna pull a good old, well, new fashion now, GTA 5. On a van. Yeah. I don't really think... How how am I going to do this? If I, I'm gonna, well, I'm not going for it. Yeah, I need to get this van because I need it for the export list. Because, um, like, off camera, I've been actually finding cars and putting them inside a garage for an export list. And I'm just going to go home and put this inside my garage now before I can, um, destroy that man. Then I get I get a bonus I get a bonus if I complete them all. I can't I really can't remember what the bonuses because I don't think I've actually ever completed the export list. But there's two in the whole game. There's one on Staunton Island and there's one in Portland Island where I am right now. And I think I've actually nearly completed the list. There's a few more cars I need to get, but yeah, I'll find those. Yeah, there's my banshee. I think um, whoever's been watching the first video or the second video can remember this banshee. Nah, that was my heist, my first heist. Doesn't matter now because obviously this is my export list and it doesn't even fit in the garage. Will it fit? Yes! The benefits are a PS2 game. <laughs> right, we're gonna need the extra firepower for this mission. Let's go! I'm gonna say uh, Trevor Phillips and Michael DeSanta in a second, probably fucking trying to get this high air van. What you want to do if you're actually ever gonna play this mission, you want to get one of these trucks because they do the most damage. So goodbye, Banshee. Uh, we we'll had a lot of good memories. See, look at that. Fucking nearly halfway. Come on, bitch. Now I'm getting money off this just for just for crashing into them. There we go. Fuck now. Oh shoot, Duffer! Run! Oh. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Only if the heists on GTA 5 were like that. So easy. Well, this game is basically like easy to me because I've played it like over 100 times. Probably clocked it about 50. So. 
I know every mission like off by heart. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna lose the cops in this. <laughs> but it was, it, on this game, like once you actually complete the mission objective, the cops go away. Just it's very unrealistic, but it was realistic at the time. So I'm going into the docks. It's basically where I drove. Well, actually, where I'm gonna drive the uh, other van that I've just put in my garage. Wow, this is a very empty garage. <laughs> it's just a box. That's that done. <laughs> that was a big exciting heist. I got a nice 20 grand off it. The only guy to go to is Joey, so. What's this? El Burrow wants to. You an opportunity. Shit, accidentally paused it. Bet to. Oh, get to the payphone in Hepburn Heights. Oh, oh if you want. Oh, there's, there's more, uh, more info, right? <laughs> right, we're gonna go get this van that I just stashed in here, and we're gonna go and take it to the expo list to show you what I'm talking about, really. Show you other cars I need to get. One of them's a um, a trash compactor. A, a trash compactor. Uh, uh, it's called a trash master. It's a a bin truck. Yo yo, Portland Harbor. Right now, this is like a big garage that's just got nothing in as well. Like. I kind of believe they can get away with this. At the time, they had like brilliant graphics, but they just got not like no interior whatsoever. So yeah, this is the list. There's a few more I need to get, like a dodo. I'm gonna have to get a yes, the same dodo as a plane in there. Hello, I'm Ross Kim. Today we are going to endure an intense situation that Liberty City Ambulance Drivers handle on a day-to-day -day basis. Follow me. So yeah, we're going to try out these little paramedic missions that you can activate when you're inside the ambulance. Basically, you need to take people that are dying to the hospital, just like a normal ambulance driver. Every single time you you crash, they lose um, health. So, let's try it in cell fault and get. So level 1 should be particularly easy. Look at this guy, this guy is... He's arsehole's bleeding. He, oh, oh, he's definitely been taken in ass pounded, and that's, that's why he's arse bleeding. Hey, you doing wear protection, huh? Yeah. Shit, is blood actually dripping from the back of this van? <laughs> oh my god! We got a bear! <laughs> oh, I have to put on the sirens, I'm sorry. This guy, this guy definitely needs some help. God, God be with you, sir. God be with you. Right, we've got two new, uh, let's say, potential victims. I doubt they're actually going to survive my driving. Ah, uh, no, don't get stuck in this hole. Oh, what is going on? Ah, oh, she's on a period. Oh my god. Oh, it's all of the car seats. It's all of the it's all of the seats. Oh my god. I don't think anyone's going to be very happy with me when I take this uh, this van back to the back to the hospital. It's got fucking period blood all over it. Man, is that blood? <laughs> it's been super bad all over again. <laughs> Oh, look at this guy. This guy's got a trench coat on. You know, he's a bit noncy. Look at him. Oh. Fucking... What, what, 26 seconds. I've got a full minute to get there. It's only around the corner, so I think we'll be alright. Oh, and a few gunshots does not help it. That's probably my blood, not the fucking... Not theirs. Oh, it's okay. We're, we're gonna get through this. Don't you worry. Go on. I know it's your time of the month, but go. Go. Get out of here. Right. I think we're on like level five or something. I've I've lost count. I think we. I don't think we're gonna do it unless I get to this guy straight away. It doesn't help with these cops chasing us though. But I, I, it's because I killed a few people. But you gotta kill some bit. We 